It's been a long night, an early morning, but a long night. And uh, I appreciate the comments of my colleagues on both sides of the aisle. Uh, I myself am just going to wing it. Um, Mr. Speaker, uh, I have a milestone birthday coming up this year. And, uh, you know, when you get a little bit older, Mr. Speaker, you, uh, you hope time moves a little bit slower. You know, I just want to savor those moments uh, as your time on this planet gets a little shorter. And it was amazing to me, to my, my dismay, on Tuesday night I go to bed, it's February 2017, and when I woke up the next morning, it was November 2018, election day. Because let's be truthful about what this is about. This isn't about the people of Michigan. This isn't about making people whole or keeping promises. This is about advancing the careers, the political careers of people in this room. We made promises. We made promises to retirees, and we failed on that promise. We made promises to the people of this state to fix their roads, to fix their infrastructure, and we failed on that promise. We passed a bill last session that's supposed to fix our roads, and all it does is make our roads worse at a slower rate. People are paying more for worse roads. That's the promise that we gave them, and now we're gonna take money out of the budget, a budget even the treasurer says he doesn't know how we're going to fill it. That's the promise that we're making to these folks. I also heard, well, it's a $56 billion budget. There's plenty of money. We can figure out where to get that from. Well, no, we all know the, the, the reality of this. There's only $10 billion of non-restricted funds. As a matter of fact, $10.1 billion. And amazingly enough, that's a half a billion dollars less than we had 17 years ago. As a matter of fact, when you look at our revenues, our revenues adjusted to inflation are down 29%, and we're going to take even more money out of the budget. So let's tell the people in Macomb County we're trying to fix their sinkhole that we don't have enough money in the budget to help you. Because I'll tell you what, there's a sinkhole coming to a town near you sometime soon. You want to talk about hard times? I have a constituent in my district whose husband is ill. He, he can't work. He's on dialysis. They hit a pothole. They bust the tire in a rim, $500. The last $500 they have, they take it out of their, their savings account. They fix their car. A week later, they hit another pothole and bust the tire again. They can't even get him to dialysis because of our infrastructure. You want to keep a promise to the people of the state of Michigan? You keep that promise of making sure that people come here and expand our are the revenue that comes into this state because nobody's moving here. Nobody's coming here for our beautiful beaches in the middle of February. The only reason that people are going to come here is because this is a better state to live in. And I'll tell you what, when someone comes up here, up I-75, and as soon as they cross that Ohio border, they know they're not in a state that they want to live in. This is a fantastical farce of a piece of legislation. I know some of my colleagues on that side of the aisle know it. And let's be real with the taxpayers of the state of Michigan, Mr. Speaker. This is about political advancement for a few people and not about the people of the state of Michigan. I urge all my colleagues to vote no. Mr. Speaker, on the question of final passage of House Bill 4001, there are 52 I votes and 55 nay votes. With an insufficient number of votes, the bill has not passed.